The penalty report came out today and Bubba Wallace had to open up his wallet. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. So there was a lot of talk the last couple of days if Bubba Wallace could potentially get a penalty for his post-race contact with Alex Bowman. I'm going to pull up the contact in question here. This is the contact that was after the checkered flag on Sunday at the Chicago Street Course. When I first saw this, I was a little bit surprised just because Alex Bowman had won the race and I actually forgot for a second that Bubba Wallace and Alex Bowman actually had contact earlier on in the event. Earlier on when they were racing in the rain, Alex Bowman made a huge mistake and he even said it in post-race interviews during the rain delay even, his post-race press conference saying that he made a huge mistake and took out Bubba Wallace and essentially ruined his day with that incident. Overall, I do not agree with what Bubba Wallace did but I think a $50,000 fine is a little bit hefty, especially when you see incidents like this quite often. Maybe not every race, but quite often you see incidents like this, drivers coming up and hitting other drivers after the checkered flag. It happens quite often, and I don't remember any penalties for something quite like this. I've heard a lot of reference to an incident and I think 2006 with Carl Edwards and Dale Earnhardt Jr. But that was a lot different of an incident. Yeah, we've had a couple of incidents even recently, even one in this race, one with Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott didn't door Daniel Suarez after the race per se. He did make a swipe at him and the brake check was pretty bad. I don't remember who was behind Suarez, but whoever was behind Suarez almost got into the back of Suarez because of that brake check and it was almost a three car incident after the checkered flag because of that you also got martin shrex jr earlier this season at richmond when he went after kyle larson and denny hamlin he was really upset at the end of that race so if you can't tell i don't necessarily agree with the penalty personally i don't think he should have been fined at all but something like ten thousand dollars something like that I wouldn't have honestly been too upset with because he, he did hit him pretty hard. He hit him into the wall, but he wasn't, it wasn't necessarily him going for him to hit him in the wall. He just happened to be next to a wall. They're in a tight street course. Bubba Wallace was looking to get some sort of revenge, some sort of payback. So a $50,000 fine for Bubba Wallace. Honestly, with all the conversations I've heard from people before this penalty even came out, most people have said that they don't expect Bubba Wallace to get any sort of penalty or a fine. And if they and if he does get a fine, they expect it to be quite low, something like a ten thousand dollars or something. I think the only person I've seen that's pretty outspoken about what Bubba Wallace did is Jeff Gluck. Everybody else I'd say has been pretty much like yeah, he did that, but that happens all the time. So I expect Bubba Wallace in 2311 to challenge this, essentially. I don't think they'll get the fine completely removed, but they might get the fine lowered to like a $20,000, fifteen, maybe if they're lucky. We'll have to see how this unfolds. But let me know your opinion. How do you feel about this penalty for Bubba Wallace. But keep this in mind, if you say that Bubba Wallace should have gotten penalized, you don't really want any of these post-race antics that a lot of people get very excited for that goes on highlight reels and this and that causes a little bit of drama at the end of these races. I feel like 90% of fans enjoy that, but at the same time, this situation, I think a lot of people are gonna be like, yeah, Bubba Wallace deserved to be fined. Because a lot of people don't like Bubba Wallace. So give me your honest opinion, please. Just give me your honest opinion. Keeping all that, all what I said right there in mind. Tell the truth. 
Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.